Okay, why am I showing this car again? Because the previous video, it had a fucking hair right down over here. And I didn't even notice it, and it bothered me. Like, why didn't I see that fucking hair? I had to pull it off, and I don't want to redo the whole video, and, you know, that changes your comments and everything. So, here's the car again, and two things I forgot to mention. Now, some of you have seen the website. I'm not going to give a name to that website, because I would give them no credence, because their fucking website is fucking bullshit. And they blocked comments after a certain time period, whatever. Two points I want to make. Number one, the car was not a Packard 1933 Packard V12. No, it wasn't. And number two, it appeared in more than one episode. I recently found out it was actually six episodes. I used to think it was five. It's six. I'll tell you what the episodes are. Number one, it appeared in Gomez the Politician. That's the fourth episode. At the same time, the Munsters revealed their family cars, their number four episode. Uh, Rocket by Munster. First you see the 1937 Cadillac that Lily's driven into the car dealer. Then of course you see the famous Hot Rod Hearse at the end of the episode. Then there was Adam's Family Tree the car appeared in. And uh, number three was Adam's Family in Court. You see the car. And then you see it for a little bit. Um, actually, they don't show the whole car. They show like the upper half and stuff like that, you know? And... Um, you just never get a good look at the car no matter what the episode is. And it's kind of a shame. You gotta like try to figure out how the rest of it looks just by what you see and what you know from other Packards and stuff. Uh, let's see, I said Adam's Family in Court. And then number four was the Adams Family and the Spaceman. And they showed, yeah, oh yeah, number four, I think I mentioned that already. Sorry if I repeat myself. You see the car a little bit more in that episode. Not by much, but you see longer time on the car, but they never really show the whole car. Mm, then there's Portrait, and that was the end of season one. Then in season two, there was Portrait of Gomez, and I thought that was the last time you'd ever see the car again. But it makes a very quick, brief, let's say two second appearance in Morticia and Gomez versus Fester and Grandmama. Yeah, so remember that, not a V12, it's six episodes, not one. I'm going to just... Mm, you know what? I'm not even going to give it a turnaround. All right, I'll give it a turnaround. Even though this is the best side, you know. You see the nice little spotlights I did on the car. He even got a handle on them, see? I made to put a little handle on the spotlights. Let me turn this around. I was turning around on a piece of... Uh, another board like this on top. I don't want to break anything because it's so fragile. This one's up a little bit, you know. Let me see if I can get there where you can see the stick shift knob. See, that's white and that's the little cluster gauge inside there. And like I showed you in my other video, my creative um, liberties as they call it for the taillights. I think that's a cool touch. You can all see the back of the car. I mean, you could assume it's just what a Packard has normally. These are from another Packard, these lights. Uh, they're from like a 1934 Coupe or something of some sort, Roadster. And uh, well, that car was wrecked, so I figured I'd use the lights. So, there's the front, minus the Vulture and license plate. And someday I'll get a license plate on this thing. But until then, this is what I have. And see, am I off camera? Okay, I'm a little bit off below camera. Actually, see, when you watch the TV show, it's more like you see that as a car instead of anything else. And coming back here. <laughs> All right. So, that's it. Don't believe that fucking internet page, that website. They're wrong. They're lying. They don't know what they're talking about. You got the truth here, okay? Good fucking bye, everybody.